Abs cast. Either as an employee or as a contractor, there are certain things that you can and can't do under that contract. They might be implicit terms or they might be implied terms. And I don't think you can slate the owners who are paying you or some of the decisions that they've made in regards to your line manager, for want of a better term, whilst you remain in their employment. I think when he leaves Manchester United, which is sooner rather than later, then, of course, he can express whatever views he wants. He can do a, a tell-all at that point and say their decisions weren't great. They were impersonal. They didn't know what they were doing. Fine, because you you have no ties to the club. But whilst you're being paid by them, he's still being paid by them now. He's not suspended. I think there's an element of decorum, and I think there's an element of contractual obedience that you have to follow. United are taking legal advice. They've come out with a statement to say that they will take the appropriate action necessary and relevant to the comments that Ronaldo's made in the interview. To me, that sounds like they feel he might be in breach of contract. This will be interesting to see what route they take. He's probably been ill-advised in terms of what he can say, when he can say, and how he can say it. So I think this could get quite messy from a contractual perspective. There may be elements that he has being personally slighted maybe Manchester United have renegated on certain things equally Eric Ten Hag might be looking at it and looking at is he a disruptive influence is he narcissistic is he training at 110 percent one of the things that Manchester United senior pros from when he was a youngster which is what he spoke about in the interview demanded if you listen to Roy Keane and Gary Neville and players like that they'll tell you that some of United's training ground matches were more intense than some of their Premier League matches they went at 110%. Is Ronaldo training like that? If the answer is no, maybe Eric Ten Hag has dropped him for footballing reasons, for attitude reasons. Whilst you're in the employment under contract of an individual or an organisation, you can't publicly make slanderous or defamatory comments in public. You know, there's contracts and provisions and clauses which prevent this. So I think either he didn't know or he's done it through complete ignorance or as the likes of Jamie Carragher have said he has done this with a very specific conscious thought a wish a mechanism to get sacked that would in incur possibly a financial penalty or possibly a mutual termination without some form of remuneration maybe he doesn't care maybe he just wants to become a free agent maybe he's already sounded out some clubs that if there's no signing on fee no transfer fee maybe he would sign for them these are all subjective things but it might make a, an element of of sense he said that he had several offers not just the saudi offer of over 300 million that he turned down perhaps those clubs have come back and said look no signing on fee reduced weekly salary no transfer fee let's talk so maybe he's trying to negotiate and position himself for that to happen i think a lot of the general criticism is, is still valid in the sense of if you're a playing staff member if you're a player playing for a club you are paid to take directions from the coach whether you like them or not if the coach says i want you on for 30 seconds you have to strip off and come on the pitch that is what you're paid to do you're paid to give your all in training you're paid to give your all on the pitch if you're a star player and you're asked for an interview depending on what the contract says I would expect you to give interviews. Maguire has given interviews. De Gea has given interviews. We've heard from the likes of Diogo Dalot. We've heard from Marcus Rashford. Almost every player who's played minutes and has a good grasp of English has given interviews, but Ronaldo hasn't. When Ronaldo was given the captaincy, whether or not you agree or disagree with that decision, he should have come out after the game and given an interview. He didn't do that. Whether that's, again, in his contract or not, there are certain things that you would expect. His conduct and his decisions have brought the club, at times, into disrepute. None of what he said in the interview gets away from that. He will have performance and legal clauses within that contract, implicit and implied obligations on him, his conduct and what he can say or not say in public. It's telling that Manchester United said quickly that they were going to be taking legal advice on this. 
and it's telling that they've said that they've started the appropriate action in response to this. Abscast.